It's Mark Wiens. I am in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And right now I'm on my way. It's actually, I think it's Saturday morning. And I am on my way to go find what is supposed to be one of the most famous places for banh mi, which is the, the famous Vietnamese baguette sandwich. So walking there now, hoping to find it and hoping that it's not too busy. Uh, but I'm excited to eat this. I think we're on the right street now. The street is called Le Thi Priang. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it though. Mu yang, right? Oh, mu yang. Ban mi thit. Okay, and I can see the, here it is, hiding beneath the layer of pate is like bologna and meat and oh there's the, some grilled pork finally at the bottom so there's like, there's like 12 layers to the sandwich and just beautiful colors. Oh yeah, that is a winning sandwich. The bread is so fluffy and crispy on the outside. And then that mix of meat is so good. It tastes like bologna, roasted pork, and then that rich buttery pate, and then paired with the green onions and the pickled uh, daikon radish and carrots. Oh. That's so good. That was a delicious banh mi. I'm ready for some coffee next. That's the only thing that I could, could use after a beautiful sandwich like that. Stopped at the nearest coffee shop and got my, my usual black, black iced coffee. Oh yeah, nothing else hits the spot after a sandwich like a, a black, delicious iced coffee in Saigon. I'm at the Notre Dame Cathedral in central Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, this is one of the most famous Catholic cathedrals built in the Neo-Romanesque style. Right now I am at the War Remnants Museum here in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City and it's actually very close to the Independence Palace. Uh, this is not a fun or exciting place to visit but it is a place to come uh, to pay respect and to remember the brutal history of the, the war in Vietnam. Outside is are many displays of tanks and military weapons and vehicles and then inside it's actually mostly uh, exhibitions of photography showing the horrible events and the, just the, the terrible violence that, that was a result of the war. I'm at Tao Dan Central Park in Saigon and it's, it's kind of in the central area close to the in Independence Palace and this is a one of the city's largest parks. It's a beautiful park. What I really love is the giant sized trees that really line, line the outside of the park. Um, it's a nice place just to take a leisurely stroll and walk around. After walking around the park and also going to the museum, we're pretty hot and hungry. So I think, well, we're just walking down the road now to see if we can find anything to eat. Okay, we found a place to sit down and eat called Tom Tom 77 and uh, gonna order just rice with uh, pork, grilled pork over it. Okay, the food has just arrived. I got a pork, uh, fried pork chop with an egg on the side, all topped over broken rice. And you can see there's like some 
green onions on the bottom there. All the sauce. Take off the sauce. Put a little bit of sauce on it first. Oh, yes. That pork is hot and fresh, and it's a little bit sweet, but it has a really beautiful charcoal flavor to it. Has some good texture to it, and then along with that, that egg and those green onions, I'm gonna add a bit more sauce. Oh yeah, this is a wonderful. And the broken rice is almost kind of like, it's really soft and easy to eat. It's almost like a, well, this is definitely a, a popular and wonderful lunch option. Mm. That was an extremely satisfying lunch. Uh, yeah, really delicious. I could definitely eat that, make that a, a lunch staple. Uh, but anyway, it's starting to get cloudy. I think it's going to rain, so I think we might head back to the hotel and try to do a little bit of work this afternoon and then maybe come out again in the evening to walk around and eat again. But that was a wonderful lunch. That really hit the spot. Just spent a couple hours in the hotel. I uh, got some work done, but now it's uh, late afternoon, Saturday late afternoon. I think it's about 4.30 or almost 5.00. So we're walking out again, and I think we're gonna go check out the, well, the central, most famous uh, Benton Market. So we're gonna just walk around a little bit inside and try to film a little bit for the, for the top things to do in Ho Chi Minh City video. We're back at the Benton Market and the, the gigantic roundabout that never stops, and it's just like a continuous, uh, river of traffic and action and energy always the challenge of crossing the street, but I have found that you can almost you can almost just cross the street with your with your eyes closed Okay, maybe not, but you just got to walk slow and steady and The motorbikes and traffic will just really walk right well will we'll just drive right around you as long as you move steady and you move in a predictable, like just just a steady steady walk, and that's the safest way to cross the street. Crossing the street is a, a form of entertainment on its own in Saigon. I am in the mostly the clothing section, so there's hello. Hello. There are clothes of every color, football jerseys, uh, Vietnam T-shirts, kids' clothes. Hello, hello. Belts and lots of friendly vendors. Shoes galore. You gotta be really careful at this market not to hit anything over. The, the ledges are so tight and the alleys are, and the walkways are really tight and uh, they're just packed with things. I went from smelling fish sauce to smelling cinnamon and turmeric and spices. Some wonderful smells coming out of this market. There's just about everything you can possibly imagine tucked or jammed into this market in some stall or some or on top of some shelf. And you'll go from like food to spices to clothes to souvenirs in like a few strides. But yeah, lots lots of interesting things to check out here. A good place to buy snacks and uh, food as well as souvenirs. That was a nice walk around the Benton Market. Well, look at all that styrofoam. We're gonna walk outside and try to find some food for dinner tonight somewhere. hot and tired so we didn't have that much time to search for a restaurant so I saw this restaurant called Pho Hung. Um, I have no idea but we stopped in here. Nice clean and 
okay looking restaurant. It just looks like a like a chain food restaurant in in Vietnam. But I think it should be good. Should be good. This one. Or no, this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so the food has just arrived. I'm gonna any picture in my cup? Okay, I'm gonna load her load her up with this one looks a little ketchupy. Okay, I'll taste a little bit. Taste a little bit first to see. Oh, oh, that's good. That's like sriracha. Okay, and lime it up first. It's tender and really, oh. I could eat a bunch of that beef, especially loaded with sriracha like that. Oh, 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 oh. That was a decent meal. If you're looking for an indoor, more of an indoor, clean, uh, nice place to sit, that is a decent chain. Yeah, all right, not bad. The beef was really good. I could have, I could have definitely eaten a whole plate of that beef. I think that is about it for today. We are heading back to the hotel now, and I'm gonna try to do some work and go to sleep. Um, and I'm definitely gonna do some better research. I hope the internet will work good. I'm gonna do some research to see where to eat uh, better food coming soon. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vlog and the next video.